What makes you proud about how Johnson Storage and Moving has responded to COVID-19? I've been really proud of the culture that we've built and, and how our team has gelled to support each other and lend a hand in the community. So uh, related to that, you know, we uh, started to execute what I call a pivot uh, to healthcare emergency supply chain management, which is kind of a mouthful, but what it basically means is helping to distribute and deliver medical equipment, uh, PPE that everybody's talking about, um, and including even uh, ventilators across the country. Well, and you started a couple of new businesses as part of this pivot, right? What are those? We have about 100 trucks and a million square feet of warehouse, and we've leveraged our assets to help make sure that we're assisting with that supply chain to keep it uh, full and to assist even building hospital beds in uh, northern Colorado with what we hope uh, will not be used as a convention center makeshift hospital, but we're, we're building it anyway. And, and uh, again, hopefully it, it's never utilized, but we're, we're, we've got crews all over the country uh, building medical equipment right now. And uh, you also started an, a, an additional business, right? Where you're cleaning office buildings. Talk about that. So we started a commercial wipe down service as part of our commercial business. Uh, and we send crews in with masks, PPE, booties, and they go in at night and they clean those facilities. They do wipe down of all hard surfaces, uh, keyboards, uh, mouse, um, the, the PC monitors, and they make sure that everything's disinfected. So when the, those employees do come back, that they, they're confident that the facility is safe. We're learning and we're learning new lines of business and new service lines that we're gonna be able to parlay um, even after this crisis is over, particularly our medical equipment installation and assembly business, uh, the wipe down service business, some of those things just aren't going to go away. Um, and we did a, another brand new service line today that's called return to office or RTO, where when people are ready and restaurants particularly are ready to reopen, we go in and we reconfigure the office furniture or the restaurant furniture pursuant to the new distancing requirements. So we go, we send crews in, we remove excess furniture, we help with the new layout and design of the restaurant or the office. Um, and then we take the unneeded restaurant or office furniture back to our warehouse, we store it. Um, and then hopefully, we all hope a year from now, we deliver it back out. It's been, it's been challenging, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, in times like this, business owners have to be creative uh, and nimble and entrepreneurial. And, and, you know, we're fortunate. We have a culture that enables us to pivot and turn on a dime to seize new opportunities, but, you know, more importantly, to, to help out in the community.